guys, how's it going? We just got back from a trip where we got to tour the Espoma Company's facilities in Millville, New Jersey. It was a really cool experience. Um, I really enjoyed the tour. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of what we got to see. First of all, the Espoma Company is a fourth generation family owned business which started back in 1929 as an all organic fertilizer operation. So back in 1929, they started with one product called Espoma Organic, which was an all-purpose type plant fertilizer. And then they pioneered the development of Hollytone, the first organic fertilizer geared toward acid-loving plants like Hollies. Fast forward 88 years to today, where they now offer over 48 products that can be found at a vast majority of independent garden centers and major retailers. So it all starts when raw, organic, locally sourced materials arrive and are held in these bulk bins. Depending on the fertilizer being mixed, specific ingredients are scooped up and poured into a box on an elevator, then are lifted up and poured into the hopper. As the ingredients are being mixed in the hopper, liquid microbes, which are held in these large containers, are pumped up to the hopper and sprayed over all the ingredients for even coverage. Then the finished mix is sent down and dispersed in bags, which is actually super mesmerizing to watch. Right before it's put into the bags, a machine picks up a couple of the bags by suction and opens them using a blast of air. The fertilizer goes in, then each bag goes through rollers that straighten up the top so that it's ready to go through the sealer. The sealer is 440 degrees and seals each bag tightly before the bags travel down the conveyor to be stacked on pallets. Now this part is pretty fun to watch. They've got four big robot arms that pick up these heavy bags using suction and stack them appropriately on pallets. Once the stack is high enough, it goes down the conveyor to be wrapped in plastic for more secure shipping. Now this process is for the larger bags. For the smaller bags, the process is similar but four times faster. So you see the bags are opened with air, fertilizer goes in, air settles it all down again, then down the conveyor belt where they're sectioned off in groups and moved into a compartment where they're wrapped one direction in plastic, then moved to the next compartment where they're wrapped the opposite way in plastic to make them more secure for shipping. Then another trip down the conveyor to the big robot arms that pick them up with suction and place them on pallets. After the pallets are wrapped, forklifts move them to multiple warehouses and one of them has this really cool rack system that's super efficient. It's got a slight incline so that every time a pallet is taken off, the next pallet in that row moves forward to take its place, which allows them to utilize 100% of the space, eliminating the need for aisles. They've also got a picking room where independent garden centers, which is the realm I come from, can order smaller amounts of exactly what they need instead of having to order an entire pallet of just one product. Once an order is put together, it comes to a loading dock and is put on a truck where it's shipped out to your garden center. Another thing that I thought was interesting is that this plant is 100% solar powered, which saves thousands of gallons of fuel per year. You can see all the solar panels here on the roof of many of the buildings. And one last thing that I thought was really fascinating was how clean this plant was. I mean, they're dealing with manure and just lots of dry, dusty type ingredients, and it was still so clean. I, I kind of figured that it would be a little bit more of a mess, and it just wasn't. They just have a really slick operation. And this tour was especially fun for me because I have unwrapped many, many Espoma pallets in my day down at the garden center. I've cut those pallets open, priced the bags, put them on the shelf, so to actually see how they get to that point was really, really a neat experience for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tour. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.